Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, and welcome back to another Modern Warfare 2 Trophy Guide. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to earn the Keeping This One Trophy. In order to earn this silver trophy, reach price using the first vehicle you hijack. And the mission you earn this trophy in is Violence and Timing. After the helicopter sequence and you hijack the truck on the road, you have to keep that truck until you make it back to price. So you need to continue down the road in this truck only as you are taking out Alcatala forces and following the convoy. And of course, you're going to want to take out as many Alcatala forces as possible, because the pickup truck that you're driving isn't bulletproof, and you can keep track of how much damage your truck has taken at the bottom of your screen. So, I recommend when you are tailing an Alcatala truck that has a bunch of bad guys in the back of it, try to keep some space between you and the other truck. This way, the enemy is less accurate trying to hit your truck. But, this also means that you are going to be further away from the enemies, so take your time aiming and shoot deliberately. However, the tricky part in trying to earn this trophy comes after the part where the roadblock tries to block your path. Right after that section, there will be a truck that is deploying mines on the road. And not only do you have to avoid the mines in your very fragile pickup truck, because only a couple of mines will take out your truck in no time, but you also have to take out the enemies that are deploying the mines. So, what I ended up doing in my game was hugging the left side of the road. Now, I know at first glance, this might not look like a good idea, because you're going into oncoming traffic. However, when the the civilians inevitably hit a mine, the civilian car steers to the right. So what ends up happening in this situation is that civilian cars will end up cutting you off and damaging your truck. And plus, it makes separation between you and the enemies that are deploying the mines, and you're gonna have to play a lot of catch-up if you let them get too far. Also, I found that the majority of the mines are placed on the right side of the road anyways. Sure, there are gonna be a couple of mines placed on the left-hand side of the road, but most of the mines are on the right, I noticed. And if you're worried about oncoming traffic, just go a little bit more to the left and go into the dirt next to the road. There are no oncoming cars in the dirt, and there are no mines in the dirt. Also, if you find yourself struggling in this mission and you die a few times, that's okay if you revert to last checkpoint. You don't have to do this all on one life. As long as you are staying in this truck the entire time, it will count for progress towards this trophy. So keep those things in mind when you make it to this part of the level. And eventually, you will catch up to the enemies that are deploying the mines on the road, and you should have no problem taking them out. Out. And after this part in the level, you will be able to rendezvous with Price. Drive your pickup truck right next to Price's cargo truck, jump on the roof of your pickup truck, and then jump onto Price's cargo truck. And when that happens, a notification will pop up on screen to let you know that you've earned the Keeping This One trophy. Anyways guys, that's it for this Modern Warfare 2 trophy guide. If you found this video to be comprehensive, straight to the point, and useful, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world and I'll see you guys next time.